The budget reconciliation bill, which is in the news now, is a $3.5 trillion spending bill. That is the number that the Democratic leadership in the House, Senate, and the White House agreed upon. However, there are some in the more conservative wing of the party that think that is too much, and of course all the Republicans oppose it. And the number that these conservative Democrats, or the words they use, these conservative Democrats and these Republicans, are this is massive spending, it's way too much, it's way too liberal. Well, let's probe those numbers a bit. $3.5 trillion, let's look at that number. That is an extraordinary large amount of money. Most of us will never make that money if we lived 100 lives or maybe 1,000 lives. It's a huge amount of money, but it's for 10 years. So really, if you average it out, it comes to $350 billion a year. And now we have to ask, of course, well, what are we getting for that money? What, what are we getting? Well, we're getting all kinds of things. We're getting work against climate change. We're getting more support to parents with young children. We're getting more support for needy populations all over. We're getting all kinds of positive things, things that America needs the social infrastructure to remain competitive so that parents with young children go, go out there and, and make money, so that people who need an education or need training can get it. All of these kinds of things so that we invest in fighting climate change, which is going to devastate us if we do nothing about it. But that's still a lot of money, $350 billion a year. But let's also remember, this is a big country, about 330 million and change people here. So really we're talking about about $1,100 a year for every American for 10 years. That's the spending. But that's kind of hard to imagine. But let's imagine it this way. The cost of this bill is the same as buying an ice cream cone for every American every day for the next 10 years. Well, I'm not suggesting that the American government buy every American an ice cream cone. Although I would say if they do, they should have vegan options for those of us who are lactose intolerant. But the point I'm making is that they're not buying, they're not offering to buy every American an ice cream cone. They're offering to invest what, if you look at it that way, is not an enormous amount of money every day for 10 years to make American lives better, to combat climate change, and to keep America competitive. That seems to be worth it.